Hi guys, today I will be sharing our third grade curriculum choices. So for Bible study, what we do now is sometimes I read from the Jesus Storybook Bible for them. This is one of my favorite children's Bibles. And then from the regular Bibles, because we haven't gotten them, they um like children's Bibles, well at least not as yet, because I had these two on hand that I wasn't using, so I just passed these on, I, I wasn't using these again. So I passed these on to them. So we read from Matthew and Proverbs right now. We don't do it all the time, but when we do, we read from Matthew and Proverbs. And then sometimes, not a lot, they might pull out like a verse that they like and then they will state why it is they like it. There is no perfection expected with this and it, it just depends on how they feel and what they think. It does not have to be anything fancy. And then they draw and they decorate it. This has also turned out to be a really good way for them to practice their handwriting. So that get a little bit of copy work in there. That's my third grader. And then this is my six year old and all her little drawings. And as I said, we don't do that. We don't have them write, write that out very often. And then for math, we are going with math you see again. And this is the workbook. And then we have the test book. And as I stated last year, how I use the test book is after we're finished with the, the, um, the sheets that we decide to do from here. Once we work our way um, through the, um, the workbook, then I come behind and we do the test book. Sort of as like a revision at the end of the term. And then we have the manual. Now, if I'm to be honest, the old, why I got this manual this year is because when we were doing Gamma, not for Alpha, for Alpha, I really honestly didn't really use it. But for Gamma last year, when we were coming down to the end, it worked really well to help with correcting, you know, like to speedily go through correcting her work in the end. Because So that's what I'll be using this for because at the back, it has the answers there are worksheets A through G, and it has the, the answers for worksheets A through F, right? So I, I'm going to be using the back of it particularly to just go through correcting their work quickly. Yes, I can check it myself, but that just makes it a little easier. And then we have the DVD. For All About Reading, I want it all about reading again. Now, if I'm to be honest, I am more a fan of their All About Spelling program. I absolutely love their All About Spelling program. It works really well, particularly for my, my, um, my sec, who's going to be my second grader, right? This program works really well for her, um, because she needs a little bit more work with reading than my old, that, that my older daughter needs. So we're going with All About Reading again. So the All About Reading, this is the teacher's manual I was trying to look around for another reading program but since I and you know, I can settle on another one then I went with the all about reading again and then this is a student packet with all the tiles and stuff so I have to separate that and then you have the activity book to the back the activity book I only used it with my my other daughter if that makes sense um i didn't really need to use it for my older daughter because she is a pretty pretty strong reader so again this most likely we wouldn't we wouldn't be using for her in third grade um and then we have the readers the readers what i had her do last year is just just as how she reads her chapter books um i would just give this to her and just have her just read it through so we don't really follow the all about reading for my older daughter like how it's laid out in here i just go through the manual and i kind of see if there's anything that i want her to kind of take a look at but this is really for my other daughter then we have the all about spelling this program i actually really like and this is one of the programs that for the most part i kind of follow it you know more or less how it's laid out and that's that so we have the teacher's manual then we have the student pack and then we have the 
Hammer phones. We got the Hammer phones book as well. All about all about writing. For writing, we are going with Writing with Ease by the Well Trained Mind, and this I will be using as a guide for writing. To the front, you have the manual, and then at the back, you have the student pages. I'm trying to find the beginning, so you have to get it separated and then rebound, or you can buy these. Um, student pages they actually come as a pack separate so you can also choose to do that but this is the manual to the front the teacher's manual to the front all right for grammar or language arts we are going with first language lessons again by the well-trained mind and I'll be using this as a guide for grammar we have the workbook here the student workbook and then we have the teacher's manual. I'm sorry for all that loud noise. For grammar as well, we have been reading through this visual guide to grammar. This is where we're at. We're going through it really slowly. Um, it's just a simple take on like the different parts of speech and stuff. And I, I really like really like this so we will actually probably read through this like two three two or three times throughout the year so that's that so we'll be using that as well for grammar now for history we are going in a totally different direction this year I am taking all that stress that I was putting on our homeschool and it became too much probably because of how I was using it so that's you know that's a learning lesson for me so this we are going with fun schooling by I think it's think yeah thinking tree books this is American history timeline and this actually looks as if it is going to be so much fun I, I'm sitting and watch a movie together and draw and my my kids love to draw all three of them so they even asked me if if my youngest Gabrielle if she can get a copy and and um, then we can all sit down and draw together so I think history might be a little different this year so we, that's American history timeline and then we have the United States social studies fund schooling all three of them I'll be using for history right United States social studies fund schooling journal And then we have the United States Geography, History, and Social Studies Handbook. So I'm really hoping that this, um, this works out for history. For history, we will also be using the Osborne Encyclopedia of World History with internet links. Um, and it has links to over... 800 websites recommended by Osborne. We have we've had this for about two years We bought it to use in conjunction with the story of the world um, about two years ago um, Honestly, we did not use it that much. We just use it as reference when um, When using it when we're using it with the story of the world, but now that the story of the world is no longer our spine you know this should be able to get more use than it was being used before and this book is really really good and <laughs> one my kids drawing but anyway so we will also be using this for history geography we are going these are really simple dk workbooks they are not in depth by any means but i like them so we are going with dk workbook for geography and we we just go through this really quickly just a simple take on geography so we will be doing this again but we will also be using this maps and geography um, book as well by thinking kids so we'll be pulling out from there for social studies we are doing 180 days of social studies by shell education 
it's really simple and then this one we will be pulling from this nonfiction reading comprehension social studies and science we're taking a very similar approach that um like we are taking for social studies so i'll be doing 180 days of science just really simple and then we will also be pulling from this non-fiction reading comprehension science book as well we would not be following these necessarily to a t but more so just pulling you know like topics that i want want to we'll be pulling from here now we had this um god's designs packet from since first grade plants human body and animals now i am definitely will not be following this to t but what i would be using it for is if there is a topic in science that's brought up here and is more in detail here we might just read through if i think that it's necessary we, we may just read through it here but i am not going to necessarily be you know like following it from beginning to end in um in in in, in its entirety <laughs> i mixed up my words there so anyway you can go through the animals book but these are really really good so they're good to just have on hand you know and if they need if they find a topic that they're interested in and we can go in here and just kind of see what it has or in there and read from it so that's how we're going to be making use of this since i already had it on hand all right for african-american history now I mentioned as well on my blog that last year we really did not get through a lot of the books that we had for African American history, also for, for history story of the world as well that we were using last year. We did not get through a lot of that because we had some, you know, medical stuff that we were dealing with. And this year they're all just making it right back into rotation, you know, and then I, I had some stuff on my shelf. And I just incorporated that and we're going to use some of it like for group study so to speak but most of it just for like read aloud and for my for my eldest for her to just read on her own so let me see if I can go through those quickly we have a kid's guide to african-american history as I said we will not be going like in depth with everything we will just pull out certain things hidden figures we did not even get to this at all last year and i honestly thought we would have finished reading this now african american history we did read i don't know if i have a bookmark in this one but we did read a bit from this one but nothing like we did not get very far so we will be using this again then we have okay brave five brave explorers great black heroes then black soldiers in the civil war little leaders we actually did get through some of this but this book in particular especially since i have all girls i think it might be fun to pull out like certain characters find like coloring pages or little you know probably see if we can find a documentary to look upon that person i really think that we can you know get good use out of this so i really want to um to get into that one then we have some of the who was books who was jackie robinson all of these i had on my shelf that i had bought throughout the year last year so nothing here was actually bought this year anyway who was martin martin luther king jr the mighty miss malone bud not buddy we have been using this throughout the last two two years and we will continue with that 100 african americans who shaped american history who was booker t washington who was aretha franklin in their own words harriet tubman this 
Harriet Tubman, sorry. This was one that I had found at the thrift store and there's a couple others. But anyway, this one, who was Harriet Tubman? Who was Nelson Mandela? Who was Frederick Douglass? Now these who was books, um, I don't think that they are necessarily in depth, but you know, it's just an exposure and I'm not too picky if I'm to be honest. Um, Frederick Douglass. Um, a voice for freedom in the 1800s who is Barack Obama who was Rosa Parks and this one we had gotten almost halfway through because we were enjoying this one but most likely I may just start over because I don't think the kids will remember anyway <laughs> the Watson the Watsons go to Birmingham so that's that oh I need to hurry this video up um okay as usual, we will be going with our what's your third, what's your kid needs to know book and our brain quest. Now, a little thing I have to say on this is that we really use these what your kid needs to know, like for read alouds. The reason why I like these books is not because I think your kid has to learn this. It's more so because when I first started to homeschool, I didn't know anyone. I didn't even I didn't even think I discovered YouTube to the extent that I did that I have now. And um somehow I, you know, the Lord allowed me to stumble on these books and they really, you know, kind of made me feel as if I okay, I can do this, you know. Um as I said, I don't believe that everything is here is what your kid has to know at that stage, but it is definitely a good start. So that's why I like these. That's why I use these. And we actually read through them. We read through the entire of the first grader and the second grader version. We are pulling out some of the subject, some of the um, stories, sorry, since they cross from the first and the second grade level. So now we, we might do the exact same thing with the third grader. We wouldn't read through everything, just anything that, you know, probably wasn't mentioned or touched on in the grades before. And that's how we read through those. More so the stories to the front and some of the history topics. Um, Brain Quest. Brain Quest is another one that we just seem to do every year. So um, I, I have a second grade and her first grade brain quest here just to kind of flip through so that you can see that I'm not just buying this and putting it on here and then we don't use it for us I, I think probably ever I don't know somebody could probably tell me if I'm if I'm correct you know you have those books or that kind of like core thing that if nothing else happens you can kind of fall back on for us it tends to be the brain quest with this what your you know child needs to know and then we, we we make time if nothing else happened to get our spelling done and our math done and then they're always writing so they're always getting copy work that's if nothing else get done at least we know that we did you know we did that and that's how you know things work happen to work for us anyway and then this is her first this was the one that she did in first grade and I'm just flipping through these just so that you can see that we actually, she actually, you know, does do those. Well, those are the choices that we have made this year. A lot of it we will be using more so as guide, but then we have the ones that we really like that we tend to follow that we were more or less doing the same thing this year. Anyway, guys, sorry for the long video. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.